Hi friends, again look at the same finite automata. Here Q1 is the initial state and Q3 is a final state. I have told you in the first tutorial about the transition function delta. This transition function takes two input. First, the present state and second is input symbol and gives the next state as the output. It shows that when machine is in present state and reads it put this, it will jump to that state. Now there is a drawback in this transition function. It gives it shows the transition of finite automata only for a single input symbol. Suppose uh, it is a finite automata, we have to find out what is would be the next state of this automata when it, its current state is Q2 and it reads input symbol B. When it is when its current state is Q2 and reads input symbol B, it will jump to state Q3. Alright, so it gives transitions only for a single input symbol. Now we want the transition of a machine, this finite uh, automata, for a, a string of input symbols. Suppose the machine's present state is Q2 and uh, it has to read this uh, string B A B right now we have to find where the machine would be after reading this string now here that uh, transition function can only tell uh, the transition of machine for a single input symbol so we need a function whose second parameter is a string which means which gives the transition for a string for this we have a extended transition function and we denote it by delta cap it is an extended transition function so it takes two input one is present state second is the string and it gives output where the machine would be after reading this string from this present state. Suppose machine is in present state and re reads the string str, then where it would be after reading this string, that state would be the output of this function. Alright, that is the output of this function. Next state after reading this string. Alright. Now, here we have to find where the machine would be after reading this string, where its present current state is Q2. So here we will use extended transition function. So its uh, first parameter is of this uh, function is present state which is Q2 and the next parameter is, uh, sorry, second parameter is this string, input string. So in previous tutorial, I have told you how the machine reads a string. So presently machine is in state Q2. It reads B. It is in uh, state Q2 and it reads B. After reading B, it goes to Q3. So it goes to Q3 and when it is in Q3, it reads A. Now it has to read A because it is the next symbol and it has already read B and after A it has to read again B. Now when it is in Q3 and reads A, it comes back on to the state Q2. Now it has to read B, which is the next input symbol in this input string. Now after reading this B, it will jump to Q3. 
So after reading this complete string from state Q2, machine will transit to Q3. So we can represent the transitions for a, a string with the help of extended transition function. This transition function is uh, used to represent transitions for only for a single input symbol. But extended transition function can be used to represent a single input symbol or uh, a string having more than one input symbol. I have told you that uh, second parameter is a string. A string can have one or more than one input symbol. If uh, there is only a one input symbol, then it behaves like a simple transition function. It, so if uh, there is one input symbol, then also it will give, it, we can use this function to show the transitions. All right. Now, second thing which I would like to tell you. Let this automata be M. Suppose M is this automata. We represent this automata by symbol M. Now each automata has a language, right? And language of automata M is denoted as L M. L and M in this way. So what the language of automata is? Language of automata is a set of strings. Language of automata M is a set of strings. Set of those strings which are accepted by this finite automata M. So language is a set of all strings which are accepted by this automata M, right? Now we can also write it as LM is the set of all strings W, right? And uh, these are those strings on reading these strings machine jumps from its initial state to final state so it can be also represented as where delta cap which is the extended transition function q naught which is the initial state delta q naught w equals to q f where QF belongs to F. F is a set of final states. So we can also say that language is a set of all those strings, right, which we applied to the initial state of automata, then it jumps to final state. So it can be represented as like this. So I think now it is clear what is the difference between transition function and extended transition function. Extended transition functions gives the transitions for a string. A transition function gives the tra uh, represent the transition only for a single input symbol. Now a string can have one or more than one input symbol. When there is only one input symbol, this behaves as the simple transition function. Right. Thank you very much.